but you're probably going to have things that you do that you notice before those more clinical signs and symptoms um, that shout louder too. So for example, when I start ordering more things online, um, when I'm ordering Mm -hmm. food out instead of cooking, um, when I am usually eating top ramen, um, if I am going to sleep past midnight, honestly, um, those things tell me some, I need to start paying attention because something might need to change. I am doing the things, my comfort things that mean that the rest of my life might not be the way that I like it to be or prefer it to be. Um, so what do you need to pay attention to? Uh, and so for other people, I know some people like listen to certain music or rewatch certain comfort shows or like start falling asleep on the couch or like take longer in their transition, sit in their car for longer. So notice those things in yourself. Um, and then there are these five areas of burnout management that work in tandem to alleviate burnout. Um, And you can look at these five at any given point in time and kind of call out to yourself, which of these could I be doing better that would help my circumstances? And so those five areas are mindset, which is that how you manage yourself and how you think about work um, and the ways that you might carry work outside of the work context and ruminate on work um, or talk about work outside of work and make it grow and make it a really big part, stressful part of your life. Um, Time management, of course, making sure that you are prioritizing what you want to prioritize, need to prioritize. Um, And then stress management, This should be taught in school, but it isn't. Everybody's just using a hodgepodge of what kept them safe or worked before as far as stress goes. And then boundaries, um, which is my favorite area under burnout management because they're so hard, but they're so simple once you can do them well. Um, And then personal care, um, which is kind of the rebranding of self-care because self-care, usually when buzzwords are used too often, they start to mean nothing. And Mm -hmm. I know a lot of places will be like, make sure you're practicing self-care to take care of yourself, which is so vague and unhelpful for so many people. So when they, it's almost more harmful because they'll think I am practicing what I think self-care is and it's still not helping. It's not working. Um, and it can be additionally kind of, uh, defeating or discouraging to feel like you are doing technically what you're told to do, but it's not having the intended result. So for personal care, I think it should be broken into three categories, maintenance, rest, and refill. Um, And I post about this like every weekend because every weekend I know I need the refresher of what am I doing under each category. Um, Otherwise, we have the tendency to lean too far into one and neglect another. So for maintenance, that's just being a really good parent to yourself. That's making sure you are getting enough sleep, drinking water, eating nutritious, food, your space looks livable, you're going to your appointments that you need to go to, you're paying your bills. Maintenance is just being a good parent to yourself. And then we have rest. The only time you genuinely rest and like turn your brain off should not be when you're dead asleep. You need to have rest (laughs) that you do when you're waking hours. So any low energy tasks that you might enjoy. Um, And then you have refill. And those are the fun things that people typically look back at their life and think, okay, that's what made life worth living. It's this refill category where you're spending time with people you enjoy, you're getting new experiences, you're doing things that kind of light you up. And if you can do one thing in each category, on like each day you have off or scatter them throughout the days that you have off. A lot of times it keeps us from that, that um, those categories keep us from spending the entire weekend watching Netflix or the entire mm-hmm. weekend um, cleaning the apartment because maybe the whole house is clean, but you didn't do anything to rest or refill or you watched yeah. all of your show, but you're completely unprepared going into the week and now you're gonna be even more stressed. 